Welcome to Seville, or Sevilla as it's called in Spanish. I'm gonna spend one full day exploring this beautiful city, but now we're gonna start at the Plaza de España, the most beautiful square in all of Seville. As you can see, Plaza España gets really busy. It's probably the most famous site you can see for free in Seville. And now we're gonna see another free site, Park Maria Luisa. The park is a great place to find a bench in the shade because it can get really hot in Seville. Now it's October and it still has 30 degrees, so in summer it's really, really hot. Now we've seen the beautiful park, we're gonna head to the waterfront and walk a bit next to the river. The river and the banks of the river are a very popular place for tourists and locals alike. You'll see loads of people just going for a stroll, doing some water sports. And while you go for a stroll next to the river, don't forget to check out Torre del Oro. It used to be a military watchtower and it also functioned as a prison for a while. Now it's a museum and a viewing platform on top, but I heard it's not worth going inside. So just admire it from the outside and keep moving. So that was the tower and now let's go for some food. For lunch, we're at Bolina Yoga Cafe. And we're gonna have a mushroom bowl and a smoothie bowl. And I think that's the prettiest smoothie bowl I've ever had. Like, look how pretty it is. Super gorgeous. Perfect food for a hot day. Now that we have the refreshing lunch, we're ready to head to the cathedral. Sevilla Cathedral. One of the biggest cathedrals in the whole world. And the best view is from the other side. So let's walk once around. I'm not that well organized today. The cathedral looks stunning, but unfortunately we cannot enter now. In 50 minutes we have our appointment at the palace. There's a massive queue, so no time. In general, I think it's really worth going inside as well. You can go up to the tower. So the cathedral was built on top of a mosque and the tower is still like a remnant of the mosque. So it's a real shame that we can't go inside the cathedral now. My tip to you that you can do it better than I did. Either book tickets online or have enough time so we can just queue up. I already need to head to the Royal Palace now. I just booked it two days in advance, which was fine for mid-October, but in high season, I think you need to book it way more in advance as well. 
you're just waiting in front of the entrance to the royal palace. You can enter 15 minutes before your time slot. It's super busy. It's probably the most visited paid site in Seville. And don't forget to bring your passport. You need a ticket and your passport to enter. over 500 years to build the palace. That's why you can find loads of different architectural styles in it, like Renaissance, Romanesque, and also loads of Islamic elements, like here, for example. Oh, wow, look at that roof, they look cool. Garden. We're in the maze garden right now. We'll see if we can find our way out. Not looking good so far. We were there before. I finally found the exit. <laughs> that was a mistake to enter it in the first place. It's really nice and quiet out here in the garden. You can just hear some birds chirping. Not that many people, which is great because inside it was crazy. It was so crowded, especially because there are so many big tour groups. And now we are looking for the exit. That was our visit to the royal palace and now we're gonna walk through the small streets of the old town towards the Sevilla mushrooms. I really like the small streets of Seville. Even though it's a big city, you still got those like super cute small alleys. Mm. Seville mushrooms. According to the Seville homepage, that's the biggest wooden structure in the whole world. They are very big, very impressive. And here you can also find the Seville sign. We're gonna go check out the sign now. Oh, and you can also walk up to the mushrooms. We're gonna do that as well. Need to get my stylish sunglasses out for a great picture. <laughs> Queue up for the picture first. Got our tickets, and we're the only ones in the lift. So up to the viewpoint we go. We missed the sunset, but the light show is gonna start soon when it gets dark. So I think the best view is from up there because there are loads of people up there. day in Seville already comes to a close. I wanted to give you a realistic day in Seville. Unfortunately, we couldn't go inside the cathedral because there were too many people queuing up. So I really recommend if you want to see cathedral, palace and the top of the Seville mushrooms all in one day, book your ticket beforehand or get up super early. Might have worked out if we got up earlier. But anyway, I really enjoyed my time in Seville. It's an amazing city. But yeah, tomorrow I'm already heading to Granada. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and maybe I'll see you in my Granada video. Bye.